Good morning, good afternoon, and uh, good night. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank the uh, 4D Printing uh, Society to organize this uh, fabulous meeting, uh, 4D Materials Design and Additive Manufacturing Conference. Uh, I learned a lot uh, on day one and uh, uh, the, the morning uh, uh, talks. That's great. The talk today is about uh, topological design of 2D metal material structures with zero portions ratio using zip dot. I will tell you guys what is seemed out later. Yeah, I, 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 I'm currently a researcher at uh, Institute uh, for Frontier Materials at Deakin University, Australia. Uh, I want to introduce uh, my uh, co-workers professor uh, for, for this, this work, uh, Professor Bernard Roof from School of Engineering, Deakin University, uh, Dr. Ali Zhao Fragharin. Uh, if I pronounce wrongly, Punish me after the conference uh, from School of Engineering, Deakin University, and Dr. Kai Long from uh, North China Electric Power uh, University, China. Uh, Ali from Australia. Yeah. Um, today I will focus on three parts. The uh, firstly, I will uh, give some background knowledge about uh, topology, uh, 3D, 4D printing, uh, metal materials, and uh, their connections. The second, uh, so secondly, I will talk about the sim dot algorithm, uh, which which is proposed uh, by our group. Uh, in the end, I will uh, talk about uh, its application, the application of sim dot to uh, the design of zero portions ratio structures. So now let's get started. Actually, top topology optimization is quite popular, and I think most of researchers know what is topology. It's just a lightweight design tool. You can remove uh, inefficient materials uh, to achieve your lightweight goal, and then you can get a high performance uh, structures. Uh, it, yeah, it, it is a very popular technique now, nowadays for the lightweight design. Uh, in terms of 3D printing and 4D printing, I think you are all the experts in this field. And uh, for 4D printing, it's just uh, use the same techniques of uh, 3D printing, but uh, the printed structures uh, will be affected by uh, environmental stimuli, for example, the temperature uh, or light. Uh, actually, I think the, the definition of uh, 4D printing may be bigger uh, than this. I mean, the, the extra one dimension may be something uh, like color or something, uh, like that, that, that's what I learned from day one. So yeah, in terms of metal materials, uh, metal materials actually are any materials engineered to have a property that is not found in uh, naturally occurring materials and uh, the materials are usually arranged in repeating patterns. Uh, actually, there were some other terminologies uh, you, you may be uh, very familiar with, for example, cellular structures, microstructures, and uh, lattice structures. So I think um, they are similar. You, you, what you need is the, you need to design one cell and then repeat them. The connections between these techniques is topology optimize, the, uh, the structures obtained by topology optimization are generally very complicated. It cannot be easily fabricated by conventional manufacturing methods. So ITU manufacturing nowadays is a very good partner for uh, topology optimization. Uh, if you want to use uh, smart materials, then you need 4D printing techniques to manufacture uh, the designs. Yeah, that's the back, background knowledge. Yeah, like I said, we, our group proposed a new method called SimDot. But why, you know, uh, topology optimization field is, uh, is not that new. It has a history of 100 years almost uh, from the very beginning, I mean. Uh, but why we, we want to propose a new topology optimization method? Uh, this is because the current uh, methods has some problems. For example, the blurry and the jig-jag boundary. You can see the, uh, uh, the, the two structures uh, on top. Uh, you can see the, the left one is blurry, the, the left one is jig-jag. 
if you want to print them, you need to um, extract the geometry information and then use the post-processing method to get smooth boundaries, and then you can print them. This motiv motivates us to propose a new one. I mean, we can uh, generate smooth boundaries directly in topology optimization, which will be easy for uh, other art designers, engineers to get a printable structures. So, so that's the uh, smoothest material distribution for optimization topology. That's our method, seemed out. And the, the, the figure on the right hand side is the flow chart of seemed out, but I'm not going to project how it works. Yeah. I, but I, I want, what I want to talk about is why we can get the smooth boundary compared to uh, conventional element based topology algorithms. We assign uh, more grid points into each element, and then we pursue the solid and void design of grid points. As the number of grid points is much larger than the elements, uh, we can get smooth boundaries. And uh, these grid points are not involved in finite element analysis. So the computational cost will not be that high. That, that this figure is um, used to demonstrate uh, the theory of seam dot for 2D cases. Uh, similarly, uh, this way is for seam dot for 3D cases. For example, you can use seam dot to design a bridge. And uh, you, ca you can see you, you can get smooth boundaries and um, you can you can design different structures use seam dot. Uh, if seam dot only generates smooth boundaries, we cannot say it is a new or uh, a good algorithm. So we compared it with uh, some very famous existing uh, methods. The most famous one is called SIMP, uh, which was developed by Professor Ori Sigmund from Denmark University of Technology. The second algorithm is BISO. Uh, BISO was proposed by Professor uh, Mike Yimin Xie from RMIT University, Australia. Uh, actually, uh, Professor Yimin Xie was my supervisor's supervisor and the uh, third generation. But our CIMDOT is different with their algorithms. Firstly, we can get smooth boundaries. Uh, secondly, we can convert faster and uh, get better, uh, get, um, better performance. But for most of cases, yeah. We compared uh, with existing alg algorithms using 2D cases, and we uh, compared seemed out with a uh, programming uh, optimization platform, we can call it Top Opt, proposed by Professor Niels Age. Professor Niels Age is the first uh, researcher in topology optimization published uh, the paper in Nature. Uh, you can see we used one million elements, but seem dot still uh, can get smooth boundaries. But for the result from top out, you can see the jig-jag boundaries not that smooth, and um, uh, we can convert faster and uh, get better performance. But we cannot slightly conclude seam dot is better than these uh, conventional methods. This is because we need to test more cases. For example, the multi-physics multi optimization problems, uh, we need more advanced. So uh, that, that's the work we are working on. Uh, the keynote speaker, Julian, mentioned uh, Professor Langla uh, from TU Delford. Actually, he helped me a lot during my whole PhD about the self uh, topology optimization for additive manufacturing. Uh, the, 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 uh, the figure on the top, these two uh, structures uh, is based on Langlas and filter, his theory. So we, we validated the manufacturer ability of uh, optimized topologies obtained by Simdot. Uh, using SLI, uh, FDI, we tried uh, powder-based metallic materials and uh, filament-based uh, polymers to test uh, the optimized topologies. And you can see that they can be uh, successfully printed without any extra techniques. 
if it saves time and um, money. Uh, actually, I, I made uh, any any animation a video uh, for you guys to to know how the theme dot works. But I'm not going to finish it. I just we can see two cases. Uh, it will save some time. Okay, let's move forward to save some time. And um, I mean, I didn't um, show you guys the, the equations, the mathematical background, but we did did a lot of work to make seem out uh, a robust method. So these papers, you can, if you like equations, you like mathematics, you can check these papers for more equations and uh, uh, its theoretical background. Yeah, we also have two conference papers to support uh, SimDot. Uh, recently, we move uh, a step forward. Uh, we released all the new generation of SimDot. In, uh, in, in the previous version, we need a penalization scheme. You can see this equation. Uh, we have P, P is the penalty factor, but now we, we don't, we remove it completely. Uh, we we use the non penalization sim dot now you can see we don't have the p in the second uh, second equation if you see the figure below you can see if we use p we will artificially change the elemental uh, value uh, i mean we, we will artificially change the relationship between elemental uh, value and uh, its material property like young's modulus uh, now we don't need, need any penalization scheme. We only use P equals one and we have a physically meaningful uh, relationship between elemental value and the uh, Young's modulus. But for uh, in the existing methods, uh, in the exist, I, I mean the element-based algorithms, the penalty factor is required because it will help to find uh, um, clear topological design, but in the new generation of sim dot, we don't need that. that that's a step forward, yeah. If you have interest in this non-penalization sim dot, you can check our pre-print pre paper and um, uh, in collaboration with uh, Dr. Long Kai and uh, uh, Professor Bernard Rolf. Uh, like Arthur C. Clarke said, the new ideas pass through three periods. The first one is it cannot be done. The second one is it probably can be done, but it, it is not wor worth doing. Uh, the third one is I know it was a good idea all along. To be honest, uh, the old generation, of, I mean the, the old theme dot was in the first period for a long time, but thanks to the foundation, uh, Built in the old version of SimDot, the new SimDot is currently in the uh, second period. Actually, uh, some researchers they use SimDot to publish some good papers in Q1 journals, and some students uh, in China and uh, Germany uh, they are using SimDot to uh, finish their bachelor and uh, master degrees. This this also motiv motivates us to move forward. To be honest, developing uh, algorithm an algorithm is very painful, but uh, we will move on. Now I will talk about the 
uh, the application of out to general portions racial structures. I will, I will introduce uh, three different structures. The first one is positive uh, uh, portions racial structures and uh, uh, followed by negative and zero. Actually, if we consider the longitudinal compressive loading and for the positive uh, portions racial structure, like, let's say pretty simple, uh, PPR, and uh, the, the structure will expand in the lateral direction. For the negative one, the structure will uh, contract in the lateral direction. The most, uh, the, the, the most interesting is the zero uh, Poisson's ratio structures. Uh, there, there is no significant change or no change uh, in the lateral direction. Actually, zero uh, Poisson's ratio structures are suitable for morphing applications where the structures need to undergo either one-dimensional span morphing or pure bonding uh, deformation. One, uh, one potential use of uh, JPR structures is the car bumper as the energy absorber. Uh, actually, this research will focus on the zero portions ratio structures. Uh, for this kind of design, we developed a new sim dot. I, I introduced the, the general sim dot, but for this kind of periodic cell, a structure design, we need uh, the homogenization theory. So we combined the homogenization theory into SIMDOT uh, to take into account periodic boundary conditions and the square symmetry. Uh, in terms of the uh, negative, po uh, positive, negative, and the zero uh, portions ratio structure design, we use the existing uh, methods proposed by Dr. Chen. Uh, their paper was published in a com complete structures. And uh, the equation is quite simple. You can see the objective function. The new x is the, um, uh, the young, I mean, the Poisson's ratio. Uh, new O is the target of Poisson's ratio. If you set this uh, new O to zero, and uh, what we are pursuing is the zero uh, portion ratio structures. Uh, as, as we, I, I know nowadays the machine learning is very popular, but uh, we are using the traditional uh, mathematical optimizer. So we still need the sensitivity analysis. Uh, you, you can see the second equation. It's not that difficult. and. Uh, we, we put these equations and the homogenization theory into sim dot, then we, we, we get uh, the, 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 the style design, and then we repeat it. We repeat it in x, y directions, then we have the zero portion of ratio structures. To be honest, uh, uh, we are at the early stage of this kind of research, so uh, the algorithm is not that robust. The limitation is it is not easy to directly yield zero portion ratio structures as the design is sensitivity to parameters is seem not, which means we, we need to uh, try several times and then we can get a reasonable uh, structure. So the, the, the figure below is a, a bad example. You can see we don't have clear structure. So it's not um, uh, and uh, that easy thing is we, we still need uh, to put efforts into it to uh, get a more robust method. Uh, future work is uh, uh, different strategies of designing zero portion ratio structures will be incorporated into SIMDOT and the accurate finite element analysis will be implemented to verify the optimized zero portion ratio structures because we um, we, we use MATLAB to write, uh, to, to, to run the FEA and uh, uh, using the full node square elements. So we, we need high order elements uh, to, to get the accurate finite uh, FEA uh, uh, results. Uh, in the end, we will consider the experimental validation to see if they are really zero portion ratio or not. Uh, in the end, I want to introduce our 
uh, Deacon Engineering and the Design Optimization Team. That's our website. And uh, this team was established only one month ago. We are a pretty new team. And uh, you can find our op open access MATLAB codes about SimLoud. And um, we will, we will re release more codes about SimLoud in the future. So, uh, but uh, I don't think you can find this website for now because it is pretty new. Uh, if you want to play around with our, the SimLoud code, you can contact uh, Professor Bernard Roof, our team leader, or you can contact me and then we will send you the latest version of SimLoud uh, for your research. Hope we can help you. Um, thanks. And uh, do you have any questions? So.